Hello and good morning. Happy weekend. So this weekend I decided to try an experiment. And I call this weekend Feel Your Emotions Weekend. As some of you know, I'm on a 60 pounds weight loss journey and I'm currently stuck. I'm dealing with not just some, but a lot of emotional eating, especially in the evening um, after work. And I would say there are quite a lot of emotions that I don't want to feel, so I eat instead. So I downloaded a few podcasts um, how to feel your emotions and so I thought this weekend might be a good possibility to train myself practicing to feel your emotions because usually on the weekend I feel very chill so I'm not coming home with a lot of emotions um, where it might be way more difficult to feel them so I decided this weekend I'm not gonna watch any TV and that will already bring things up like resistance and boredom and yeah we'll see what else is coming up but um, I am committing to feel them because I know this practicing will help me during the week and I thought I will just bring you with me on this interesting weekend we'll see how it goes let's get this feelings party started <music> eating breakfast and I have to say that breakfast is usually the easiest meal time of all of the day it's probably because I haven't so many emotions yet that I haven't processed but I also can see how I trick myself even if I have no distractions usually I like to watch a YouTube video or something like that or listen to a podcast but even if I have none of these distractions i'm able to start daydreaming or thinking about other things which also kind of drives me away from just experiencing how my breakfast is so so i have to be careful for that as well maybe you don't want to know but you don't see what you have in front of you or maybe i'm not enough for you so i thought i'm going for a walk continue listening to the podcast but I got some insights I wanted to share and one thing she said was that we often eat because we don't want to feel bad about something that happened with people around us or at work or whatever because then after we ate we can feel bad about ourselves because we ate um, and I think there's something I can see that I made a lot of progress because I do not beat myself up anymore when I overate or ate because I didn't want to feel something, but I still have to work a lot on not doing it in the first place. And I feel like sometimes in this whole journey, you get a bit lost and you don't see where you make progress. But today I realized my my pants are way looser around the waist. It is, and that is um, another way to see how where I make progress without maybe seeing it on the scale, for example. And yeah, very proud of myself. We get there. I just have to keep going and not giving up. So after I came back home from my walk, um, I was unpacking something, and suddenly I felt this tremendous feeling of hunger and I thought like okay I have to make something right now so I left what I was doing and started making lunch now when I think about it I'm like you would have died if you had finished what you were doing and then starting making lunch it's so fascinating how your body can send you signals and like okay I have to do this immediately but it is actually not that so I'm gonna be aware of that um, and while I was eating, I really felt distracted again, although I had no distractions. And I think it has something to do with like 
there was at least one thought that was like, I don't deserve this. I should eat something more healthy. Like I ate pasta with tomato sauce. It's not a super unhealthy food. Um, so I guess I have to journal a bit about this kind of thought that I have there and kind of what kind of story I'm telling myself. So in my journal, I started to write down what kind of feelings I feel at what kind of time. And I realized, okay, it is so much easier to write down the negative ones. Okay, this is a giant salad and uh, I feel hungry, mm, but I think this is gonna be too much. So I think today it's really important to listen to my body, to feel when I'm satisfied and then leave the rest in the fridge so I can eat it later. I love chicken. Mm. At the moment I'm following the Summertime Fine 2.0 by Sydney Cummings. I hope I pronounce her name correctly. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna do a cardio and abs workout now. And uh, I really like that she has a warm up and a cool down included. And yeah, it's just amazing the quality of her workouts. And she's really good in explaining the exercises. She always offers some beginner friendly modifications. So I really like her. So let's go and train a bit. And say I feel very happy it's done it was a, such a good workout um, I feel like she's really good in explaining everything and at the end you could choose your two favorite exercises of the workout and do that for one minute and I thought that was so nice you just could do your own thing and ah. so yeah now I really need to take a shower <music> report another feeling yesterday and that was when I after I did my evening routine which is usually like reading something and doing yin yoga and journaling a bit I feel extremely peaceful and calm and um, actually do that right now as well so I can report that for today as well um, I also did my weekly review that I do every Sunday. For the weekly review I collect some data like how many workouts I did, if I followed my food protocol, if I wrote some thought downloads and of course if I lost weight that week. But I also started to track how often I do my evening routine because I really can see a difference if I do it. And then I also write down like my setbacks for the week and my victories and what I'm gonna focus on for the next week. And I usually also take a look at the review the week before to see what had been the focus there of how that went <laughs> and if I want to continue with that or not. And I think it's so interesting because like I had two kind of bad days and it kind of changed the way how I looked at the whole week. I was kind of upset I hadn't reached my weekly weight loss goal. But then after I did the review, I could see, hey, look at that. You did a lot more journaling. You did five evening routines. You did more workouts and walks and you followed your food protocol way better than the week before. So there's so much improvement and um, it gives me a different picture of the week. And after I'm writing these reviews, I usually feel very determined for the next week. So I'm just gonna take that feeling now and go for a walk with it. 
um, and uh, listen to some podcasts. It's gonna be fun. So yeah. So the whole feeling your emotions weekend got actually extended. I did it through the whole week. I took my weight loss journal to work and tried to remind myself during the day to write down what I was feeling and it was like opening Pandora's box. Like I was so shocked how many negative feelings like stress and frustration and anxiety and pressure like there were so many feelings i felt or that i usually do not feel because i don't really process them it kind of makes no sense why i've been often overeating when i come home because i haven't processed these emotions i also try to find some solutions to process them when i come home i tried like resting here on my carpet and just listen to my thoughts that didn't really work out. Um, then I tried journaling, but I feel like if I don't have a question, I find it difficult to just write something down. I think I, I'm more like the guided journal journalist. <laughs> and I also have been working with a coach for the last two months and she recommended to look into when I feel this emotion and I name it, that I also try to locate it, where does it feel in my body and also maybe even if it has a color and I think that's so intriguing, I never thought about like feelings having some colors but um, I will see what's coming up next week and I will keep you updated. I think the most important thing whatever you are planning to accomplish is setbacks are so normal they are part of the journey and the only thing is you try to find a solution, you try it out, it doesn't work and you try something new. It, you don't make it mean something about you or your abilities, you just continue and this is part of the journey and I haven't really figured out how to feel my emotions. I definitely buffered this week, not with food but I was listening to a lot of music and daydreaming and everything and there I definitely can see that I still have a lot of work to do and that's okay um, we're not perfect we're always work in progress and we can grow so much and and these are the perfect possibilities to grow Thank you so much again for watching. I definitely want to say thank you to everyone who's newly subscribed. It's so nice to have you all around and I hope you enjoyed this video and then we see each other next Sunday. Have a great day and stay magical.